140,000. Where is the difference here? I have, how many did you, what, how many days did you use? Huh? How many residents did you use? 20. All right, I'll go back and look and see what I've used, and then we can let you know, but it's just based on a percentage, so. Well, we get a report every day of how, every week, of how many of how many patient day days. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I would think you could take a very easily figure out what an accurate. Right. Well, that's what I just have to. I have a spreadsheet that I. And use she just in plugs, in, plugs, plugs in, plugs in something, figures, figures but I don't and have it comes that out. With me, so. so I can't tell you what. Yeah. Is used but we'll look at it. That we'll figure is off substantially one way. Either I'm wrong or, or you're wrong, one way or the other. We certainly will look at okay. it. Okay. Okay. Under nursing administration, um, 2011, over time, uh, $2,500 um, in 2011, uh, $1,000 in 2012. Um, sorry, salary administration um, has not changed, 339609 for both 11 and 12. Social Security, 21334 uh, same, both 11 and 12. Medical insurance, 58350 um, uh, in 2011, 2012, 68434 And Paula, that is because? It's based on actual usage, actual people. Retirement uh, expense, 31500 You can go through that. Um, don't it's have to go through salaries. that. It's all salaries, all based on what the salary right, is. Right, right. So. Going down to education and conferences. Last year, um, it was budgeted four thousand five hundred. We've reduced it to two thousand. Um, uh, do you know how much you're going to spend this year? Up until the thirtieth of September, you spent almost a thousand. Yeah, we'll probably end up close to two thousand. Close to two thousand. Okay. Um, uh, Medicare expense, auditing and legal expense. We've asked Kathy to, to run a report for us. Yep. We're listed at $50,000. We've left it at $50,000, but we'd like to see that information because we'd like to make some a few re a, other reductions, yep. but we need to have some specific data, and I spoke to her yesterday. If you guaranteed us we wouldn't have any legal battles in nursing home, we could reduce that. I know. Or if somebody, if you know of somebody else that would pick up that expense, it'd be great. Thank you. Other fees and services. Um, 2011, uh, thirteen hundred dollars. Um, we've reduced that to five hundred dollars. Office supplies. Uh, we budgeted uh, 2011 twelve thousand um, dollars. This uh, coming year, ten thousand dollars. Dues training and subscription, uh, we budgeted $5,000. We 2012, we're looking at a reduction of 500, so it'd be $4,500. Postage, 2011, $2,750, uh, looking for a reduction to $2,500. MQIP, or our famous bed tax, um, we've left it the same, $405,000. Uh, the union, um, the, I'm sorry, the uniform allowance has been, is the same, $500 for both years. Computer expense, 38000 in 2011. Let me, add, let me ask you about that uniform allowance. Is that by union contract? Probably not, on administration. It's not. We, we follow the union contract. I think what we may be doing, we need to talk about that, is that those people that require a uniform would get reimbursement for that uniform. Those people are not required to have a union, have a uniform. Okay. Probably not. All right. As of 1st of January. We haven't okay. talked about that, but that's a proposal. I don't think we already discussed it. We may have discussed it. We, I don't think we took a vote on it. Okay. So if we could have a, a written notice from the commissioner, yep. so yep. that would be wonderful. I have a question. Sure. Like, by uh, salary administration, how many people? Uh, yeah. Well, it's everyone who works in the business office, myself, um, our, our um, coordinator of infection um, control, um, I believe medical records. No, no. Barbara, who works with Patty, oh. half of Kathy Gary's right. salary. Half of Kathy Gary's salary. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a person who works in infection control as well. 
Anyone else? That's eight. Eight people? And we would be happy to give you a breakdown. I just yeah, if you have that's the it's I, the same we, as what it was last year. We, yeah, we yeah. yeah we it hasn't been changed right. yet. Um, do you, do you think there's going to be any leftover with any of those positions unfilled for any period of time? No. No. Okay. Computer expense thirty eight thousand two thousand eleven two thousand twelve. 46,634. Um, and the reason being updating computers? Um, no, we have more. We got more kiosks for Care Tracker when we built the new building. Yep. We have more. So we get charged yearly for each one of those for maintenance fees. Um, and our other maintenance fees for Keen and everything have just gone up. Okay. Our yearly fees. Advertising 4,000 in 2011, 2,000 in 2012. Telephone usage, 15,000 in 2011, 13,000 in 2012. Photocopier expense, 7,000 in 2011, 7,000 in 2012. Insurance, now I would assume this is our building insurance, um, 25,000 in 2011, 50,000 in 2012. We need, to, uh, we need to check with Kathy Geary on the insurance because the jail jumped up tremendously too. The insurance, so yeah. we may have to put a, that out to bid or do something differently because insurance has jumped up. Mr. Chairman, point yes. four. Uh, are you going to allow public input on this at some point? Uh, yeah, well. And if you are, would it be better to do it if we have a question? As, as we go along. along. Right. As we go along, as long as we don't get into any extensive uh, dissertation on it, yeah. Okay. You got a, you got a couple of questions? Yes, I do, but not here. I just wanted to find out before we get started. You don't have any here, okay? Equipment we've left a dollar in that mm -hmm. line item, and um, IT expense uh, twenty four thousand two seventy five in two thousand eleven, twenty eight thousand in two thousand and twelve. Okay, the difference between computer expense, computer expense is contracts, and information technology IT is for That's purchasing, updating. The IT one is John. Is okay. Um, Strictly John. Um, I think there's one other thing that Kathy put in there. Is Chronos out of there too? And Chronos. The okay. other is our okay. Care Tracker and Keen and our stuff just at the nursing. Home. Okay. Where is there any purchase of computers? Updating? There is not. There isn't any. No. John was putting in a bid with you guys, but I don't have a figure for that. So. Okay. Did you get in touch with him at all? Is he come going to come in? Supposed to be. Okay, I saw him walk in the building, so he's here. Okay. Um, I know there's a problem with computers in a nursing home, but I think his point was that we're going to hold off until next year. Okay. I know we're getting some from the jail. Some old, Okay. I guess the jail had purchased some new ones, so we're getting some from them. So that okay. should hold us over for a little while. Okay. <coughs> Dietary department. Overtime, um, 2011 and 12, this stay the same, uh, 2,500. Um, salary um, as... Uh, You're going to be able to hold that overtime in dietary? Because dietary, I think, in the budget that uh, we've got, uh, it's over and we're by looking, quite a bit. We're looking at that because we think that some of that overtime was used as part of the move. Oh. So we have to pull those. There okay. are two areas that we believe the overtime was not taken out. Okay. And, and um, appropriately charged. Board, yes, go ahead. Um, I, I think that um, Sandy just hit on a very important point before you go, before the delegation. Yep. Perhaps you ought to have a handout because who would have thought that dietary uh, overtime would have been used to, to move patients? And if you break it down so that the the delegation can see that it really wasn't overtime for the dietary, it was for the move. It might be yeah. helpful for you politically yeah. for you people. Yeah, that would be because that's a hot issue. Thank you. Um, so then we go down um, and we look toward salaries. Is the uh, same. Is, is the same. Um, then we go down to um, education and conferences. Last year we budgeted five thousand four hundred. This year um, budgeting two thousand dollars. 
um, consultant. Um, 2011, uh, we had dropped it to $13,000 um, for our budget. Our patients are much more complex right now, um, and so we moved it back up. I think it was at $15,000. This is a contracted dietitian that comes in on yep. Fridays. Yep. Um, other contracted services, um, $1,860 is the same. Dues, licenses, and subscriptions, $2,000, both for 11 and 12. General operating supplies, um, 65000 in 2011 and 2012, $71,000. Um, food, uh, there is a, a large increase. I mean, we've been, we've been <laughs> like walking that fine line all. Um, if you go to the grocery store, you see that yes. your expenses no gone up. No question about it. We're affected as well. Um, 2011, 479,000. Um, 2012, uh, 495,000. Some of that food, am I correct? The cafe as well, that will be sold. Right. Yes. Uh, on the food issue, wasn't there some talk about um, using the uh, the the freezers in the old building to in order to buy or in order to get. Um, Larger from this, from this uh, better, better to buying better. bulk and buying bulk. Yeah. whatever, and again, we're I mean, that we're sort of in hold because I at least what my sense is is to see where we are going with the whole. Um, I mean, this is Rob's, um, yeah, Rob's yeah. Uh, food for the farm, we uh, $2,000, uh, 2011, 2012, it's three thousand dollars. Now, has the farm been informed on that, or have they given you that figure? I haven't. No. <coughs> Would you base it on? I just annualized what he's been spending, okay. and he has spent more than. Okay. Yeah. Does um, does the food does that ever go out to to rebid with different food services at all? Does, I mean. Bob uh, Rob has been looking at um, Cisco and the other food distributor looking back and forth and comparing prices and not giving, you know, just asking for a sample of prices. And he constantly looks at those kinds of things with the major distributors mm -hmm. for the, our major bulk pur purchasing system. There's, yeah. there's certain levels of quality of food, um, like first, second, and third, third being the less quality. And we're in the middle, I think. I went out in the top. Right, but I mean, just some di di distributors may, you know, offer, yeah. say, a discount to get into the county thing. Yeah. And whether yeah. it's someone ever looks into, you know, mm -hmm. putting it out to bid for a different food service. Yep. Rob, Rob continually looks at that. Uniform expense um, has remained the same, 5376000 mm -hmm. Uh, propane gas, um, we've gone from 27000 in 2011 to 33000 in 2012. Uh, maintenance and repair, we had uh, 2011, 16250 and 2012, 10000 We base that on, we have um, <clears throat> more new equipment, so therefore it would be covered under warranty, et cetera. So therefore we are... You don't think it could be any lower than that? Well... Again, I mean, you know, at the lower you go, the more risk you take. I mean, I, I, I felt confident with ten thousand. Uh, you know, okay. if you want us to look at it, we can do that, uh, Commissioner okay. Sorensen. I will talk to Rob when we get back, and we put a dollar under uh, the new equipment. Yep. Uh, so roughly in that category, you're up three thousand dollars. Hasn't it all been taken out? As for 12, I don't see the dollar. Or... Oh, it should be. This should be a dollar in there. Yes, it's a dollar. Thank you. Uh, nursing department, overtime, uh, 2011, we budgeted 310,560. Uh, 2012, we're budgeting 230,000. Um, nursing, I believe, if you look at all of the nursing. Um, let, me, let me ask center. you a question. I was thinking the other night. If we're running overtime, is it cheaper to hire a full-time person with benefits to cover overtime? Yeah. What we have done is we've really, any, any, you know, any open position that we could have had, I mean, we're really working on diligently incre yeah. uh, incre 